What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're going to be checking out Narcosis to see if it's the kind of thing that wets your whistle and makes you want to get involved in indie gaming. Uh, it's a horror underwater experience very similar to what we played with Soma actually, although Soma was one of those games that was like holy shit dude. Soma was gnarly. So let's check out Narcosis. Alright? Let's see here. We've got, uh, we can load an event log. What does an event log do? Oceanova was once in a lifetime. They're breaking new ground, making something meaningful. Mining methane hydrate frozen beneath the seabed. There's alternatives, but none so plentiful. It's clean and safe. I couldn't say no. Oh shit, son. They just threw us right into it. All right. Let's have a look here. We appear to be in some kind of like robotic suit that's got like fuzzies along the edges. That's pretty gangster because I do like fuzzy shit. I got a fuzzy coat. It's my favorite coat that I have. I've always wanted to be in a mech suit, but I don't think I want to be in a mech suit under these auspices. Like, this seems like a city. I don't know. I don't mess with the ocean, though. That's the big thing for me is I just flat out, I won't go. You just be like, yeah, you need to work at the bottom of the ocean, otherwise something bad happens. And I'm like, yeah, well, you better get started on that something bad because I ain't going down there. You better get started or you better stack them bricks on whatever's coming because I ain't going down there. Oh, cool. That's pretty sweet. What the hell is that thing? Like a pocket knife? Okay. It's like an underwater blade. Oh, I can attempt to lie. I don't know if that's actually to defend myself. That's kind of a, a meager blade to try to defend yourself with. But we might be able to use it to cut lines or moorings or something like that. Nah, I don't want to go that way either. I'm thinking... Hmm... I suppose I'll just keep moving this while though underwater spelunking is a bad idea when you're encased inside of like a steel trap. But I guess we'll just go along with it. Yeah, Narcos is an underwater horror game and I've been interested in it for a while and I actually missed the release on this one, but I figured now with the way things are structured here on the channel, I'll just go ahead and put up some videos and because I wanted to check it out anyways and see if it was something I wanted to finish over the weekend or not. Uh Do I have to jump? My downward vision is pretty piss poor. Oh shit. Is still not... Hold on a sec. Um, I need you to hit thrusters one more time. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Got it. Oh, you want me to climb the steps? Well, you should have said that in the first place. I'd be good if you just told me up front that you wanted me to climb some steps. I mean, the robot's doing all the work, so you gotta do what you gotta do. All good. Let's try it in reverse. You want me to go, like, down the steps backwards? Alright. Okay, target practice. Fire a couple of flares. Oh, cool. You gave me a little flare crate. He's got his cooler with his lunch inside of it. I bet there's gonna be a turkey salmon here. You'd be like, hey, who left a turkey sandwich inside the cooler with the flares? Okay. Oh, okay, so you get like a little wrist launcher thing. Yeah, that seems about right. Some like underwater magnesium flares. But chow, I like to imagine they're missile bombs though. Kapew! Treat this like mech warrior. Kapew! Kapow! Explosions! Danger! One out of the pool! Fire hazard! Fire hazard! <laughs> this is why they would never let me. I. I couldn't be the pilot of one of these. Oh, it wanted me to shoot him into the little circles over there. All right, well, I was just having fun. I'm, I was just dicking around. I didn't know we were being serious over here. Yeah, let me get some more flares real quick. I'll fire him into the little circles. I, I'll be a good boy. I'll do the things I'm supposed to do. Splatter cat will behave. There we go. Absis, check. Thruster, check. Launcher. And check. Let's get out of here. Grab a little sunshine while we can. So am I like membering all this? Or what's going on here? Hate to be that guy, but I can't see right now. There we go. Much better. I guess we'll have a look around. Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. All right. So we're back on what looks like the cliff where we already were, but it closed the cave behind us. Alright, let me, let me get a little thrust in here. 
We've made our leap across. It looks like we're still attached to the facility. The controls are a little bit squirrely. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of the movement. Uh, I, I think they could have gone with just like normal. Oh, hey, what's up, creepy ass looking fish? How you doing? Everything at the bottom of the ocean is so weird. Then again, I'm down here, so what does that say about me? But yeah, I the controls are a little odd because they control the suit independently, so A and D don't make you strafe. They make you actually turn, and that's kind of weird for me. I'm sure I can re-key bind it. Is there a strafe key? I don't know if there is. Hmm, try and control right now. No, it doesn't look like there is a strafe key as of right now. Not on any of the common key binds anyways. Let's keep moving. I'm just going to thrust my way through this because I think we're in like a beginning portion right now. I wonder if we ever get to go inside and just like take this off. Apparently my last name is Felon? Felan? I don't know. Welcome back, mon frere. Hey. You alright? Come on, let's get back to the hat. Yeah, sure man, sounds good to me. Is there like a bar or something down here? What is that? Oh, I can retrieve O2. Okay. Take that thing right there. Plug it on in. Make sure we got a little bit of oxygen. It looks like he's going to head off that way. Robots all riled up. Don't want to miss that. I'll circle back with JJ tomorrow. Get this all wrapped up. That's cool. I don't know who JJ is. Apparently, I'm moving on my own now, so that's fine. I didn't want to. I didn't want to control my character anyway. Mm, cool. That's sweet. I just want to point to February second. We were 50 miles from the epicenter, but an eight on the Richter scale makes that kind of distance irrelevant. Waves hit six minutes later, striking the south face of the hab first and hardest. 27 minutes in, with that kind of concussive force, even the sealed modules were compromised. After that came the ocean. By 1033, only safe havens in a sub or one of the suits. Well, good for us then. We got ourselves a suit. Those poor other bastards, well, we can't think about them now. It's too late for them. We gotta go on without them. Alright, so turn this suit the hell around. We just woke up with half oxygen. Chunks of our hab all around us. Wait, was he actually there, or was that me just, like, seeing something? Oh. Hey, buddy. How you doing? I assume dead and crispy, huh? Yeah. How's that going for you? Is it working out? I don't know. Curse my inquisitive nature. In a lot of ways, this is all sort of my fault. Not entirely sure where I'm supposed to be going right now. There's definitely some kind of, like, collision wall right there, though, so I don't think they want me to go that way. Some pipes running up that way. Doesn't look like anything goes off right there. I might be able to make it into that pipe. No, my thrusters are insufficient, unfortunately. All right, well, let's head back and we'll see what happens over here. Yeah, I don't think I want to observe that situation any further. Let's just walk through the water right there. We don't have enough oxygen to really make this worth it. I am not trying to die of oxygen deprivation today. 
Not me. No, sir. We only got two flares left on us, so I probably want to save those for, like, a desperate situation. Is there, like, a reason to walk around and, like, check all the holes and, like, crevices and things? Or should I just, like, be about my business and move through my little narrative here? Cool. Underwater life. Yeah, 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 I know. I'm on the fast track to dying. I'm aware. You don't have to worry, suit. You don't have to worry. You're not gonna die with me. There it is. Woo! Much better. Now that I can breathe, and I don't feel like my eyeballs are about to pop out the sides of my head. Does that thing open right there? Or? Man, we got a lot of ambient noise and creaking going on. What depth are we at? Do we even know? Have they announced that yet? Like, what depth have we found ourselves at? Because I'm a little concerned about this. That was probably a terrible plan, but it looked like there's something over here, so I'm going to go look. I'm an explorer. I'm a natural mover and shaker, and I can't help it. What's that right there? A camera. Okay. So we've got a file that we've had uploaded. So this is for Stella Uzor. Secret diaries, blogs, a brittle broquet from a high school dance long ago. Straws we grasp at to preserve the past. What better way to recall the awkward heat of adolescent shame or the amber glow of grandfather's pipe? Uzor carried this camera everywhere, capturing every moment, magical and mundane. Now Uzi and the tool of his obsessive documentation, any knowledge they might impart, are lost to the landscape he loved. Relics of inescapable irony. Oh shit. There's dead folks everywhere. Y'all seem so happy to be at the bottom of the ocean. Oh, we do have our depth. What was our depth right there? So we're at 3,000, almost 4,000 meters. Jesus. Yeah. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This adventure is not looking good. I'm not seeing a whole lot of evacuation points from our particular brand of fucked. All right, up and over the top. Let's see what we got going on here. I will more than likely refill the oxygen in just a moment, unless you can only do it once. Nah, you can do it as many times as you want. Good. I don't think we might as well make as good a use of it as we can, because I don't think anybody else is going to be interested. There's some kind of big, large, shiny fish over there. So I guess there is a reason for us to move around and try and find other things. Movement is incredibly slow right now. Largely because we're underwater and also because we're inside of a giant mech warrior suit. I will probably have a little look-see around here. I wonder if everything in this game is going to be all natural. Or if there's going to be like some kind of monster down below the water, you know what I mean? Like, I, I can't decide yet if this is going to be, like, a supernatural game, or if this is going to be a title where it's just you fighting with the ocean and your own neuroses as you work your way through. Like, it already looks to me as though... Oh, that's not buggy. Um, it already looks to me as though we just walked over a street lamp because we're that talented. I... That kind of blackness right there, dude. I can't even imagine being in this situation. It would be absolutely horrible to just, like, wait to die in this situation. Just alone in the dark with your oxygen slowly running out. Just like, Jesus. What do you even say to that? Yeah, it doesn't look like we can go up there. That's what I wanted to attempt was to try and make that little jump right there. Just in case there was something interesting to be had, but it doesn't look like there is. I... We'll just follow the path they've set out in front of me then. Check your gear, trust your training. It's one of the first things you learn. But the second they fail, you fall back on what you know best. For me, it's the list. This time, it wrote itself. Keep breathing, find others, and get the hell out. Right, 
Apparently the habit is taking on water and I'm walking through yet another cave. I don't know, we've got to have some kind of emergency situation. Like, wouldn't you think they're just hanging out next to the oxygen dispenser? Like, there's got to be some kind of distress signal that gets sent up, right? So if they'll come and investigate the wreck, just hang out next to the oxygen dispenser and, you know, enjoy yourself. Oh, good. Crab spiders. Disgusting. Brutal. I hate them. They are the worst. I, I dislike everything about you. That's what I think about you, crab spider. You are awful and there is really no... Uh, you are awful and there is just no justifying your existence. Bleh. Get back. I'll knife you. I will knife you, crab spider. I got a blade and I ain't afraid to use it. Can't you just imagine, though, like their little legs like crawling all over your... Oh, no. That's a big one. I'm just gonna wait for him to go away. Maybe he won't like the light. Well, on the plus side, he's not trying to eat us, so that's a good thing. I mean, it could definitely be a lot worse right now. He's trying to get his omnoms on and like feed his babies and whatnot. I don't know if he's baby spiders over here or what's going on with that, but I'm definitely not. It's going to be right behind me when I turn around. Oh, good. It's not. That makes me feel so much better. I'm so glad that it wasn't there when I turned around. I thought they were going to layers of fear me. Well, don't slide down the rock face, son. Dude, this is not a movie in the 90s. We don't need to have like a surfing segment or like a skateboarding segment. It's unnecessary. We've moved past this. We've moved past. Apparently, I'm not allowed to recklessly endanger flora and fauna. That's what I learned today. I mean, most of it's not at the right level for me to knife it anyways, so... Why concern yourself? Our oxygen levels are looking a little bit suspect right now. We may want to find a rapid-fire solution to this issue before we go any further. That down there looks promising, so you know what? Down, down, and away. Uh, we got a flare box over there. And since we have easy access to flares, I'm going to put that out so that I can see a little bit better. Let's have a look for... Oh, yeah, oxygen dispenser over here. Good. Fantastic. I wonder if these operate as, like, save points, too. I don't know. It seems like a logical thing to do just to, like, condense mechanics. A couple more flares. We got open boxes up there. So if that was a Best Buy merchandise, they'd have to mark it off for like 50% now. They'd be like, yeah, well, you know what, this washer and dryer, somebody opened the box and then they brought it back. So now, got to take 50% less for it. The moral of our story. Is there anything I can pick up around here? I feel like this is an area where there's probably something that I want to try and pick up, but... I don't know, we're at 93% oxygen, so I might as well refill. Who knows if we'll need that extra 7%. Why is it that like these multi-million dollar suits have such a tiny supply of oxygen? Like you'd think we could do better. I don't know, how long does the oxygen supply work on like a space suit? Like a Suda del Spaso. Damn it, my flare fell off a cliff. It's the little things that help you get through a day, and I'm not gonna lie. My morale is significantly damaged. I don't know if we're gonna come back from this. My flare fell off a cliff, and it hurt me deeply. We seem to have found ourselves at a cliff, though. I'm on the edge. Don't push me, because I'm close to the edge. I think I have to jump, because it's what the developer says. Ha, 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 ha. All right, so we'll go across the top. And it looks like our thrusters actually work out pretty well. I've got a pretty good spatial recognition. Bearing down on so many levels, it's got to be managed. You can't shake the pressure. Just make your peace with it. Don't let it take the wheel. I feel like I'm in an episode of Burn Notice right now. Like, we're like in the first couple of minutes, we're like, the first thing you need to know about being a special agent is that we don't breach through doors a certain way. Instead, we do it a different way, which is overly complicated and makes me sound like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> like, that's basic synopsis of every intro to every Burn Notice episode ever. 
when you're under the line of fire. I was like, all right, Michael, Jesus, calm down. Calm down. We're deep inside the ocean right now. There's weird dangly curtain things that look like they want to probe me. Our battery is running out on our stupid flashlight. It's just, you know, just one problem at a time. One problem at a time, amigo. Oh, look, a cigarette plant. Hooray, this plant brought to you by Philip Morris. Smoke. I gotta test my platforming skills. Oh, Shizer. Oh no, it moved, it moved. Oh, I landed on top of it though, it's okay. It doesn't matter if it moved as long as I make it on top of it. It all works out in the end. It all works out in the end. Yeah, yeah. It's probably not a good use of my oxygen, all this singing. Chances are that'll probably result in my death. Like, well, he had a pretty good chance of surviving until he started singing Usher, and then, man, it was just all over from there. It was just all over from there, poor bastard. Yeah, poor bastard. Dude, how did I know that was about to happen? I saw that shit coming. I was like, I'm walking on a pipe right now. What could conceivably go wrong? Well, a thing could fall on the pipe. That's a possibility. I don't know why I'm raising my hands to the sky. I'm raising my hands in the air right now like I just don't care, but I don't know if it's worth it. No! We've won we ran out of thrust, but I landed inside the pipe. It's okay. Does this pipe lead anywhere? Hello, busted ass pipe. How are you today? I've only got 50% of my oxygen. Do you know where an oxygen dispenser is, Pipe? Go find it, boy. Go find it. These underwater pipes are amazingly talented. You just have to give them a chance. What is that? Mmm, better not be no big daddies down here. Better not be no big daddy down here. Okay, it's not a big daddy. It's just an arbitrary lamp on the side of a pipe. We're good. We do have what looks like an oxygen canister over here. Several of them, in fact. I'm going to go ahead and make use of that, so we retrieve that O2. It's making scary music, like there's something around that I'm supposed to be seeing, but I don't see anything. Yeah, let me get a couple of flares. That wasn't a lot of oxygen, so rather than stay in place, I'm going to keep moving. I don't think we have much of a choice. Oh shit, what was that? Some kind of weird, like, Miyagi monster thing. I don't know what that hit it like a mustache. I don't know. There's protocol for everything has to be. Second guessing puts lives at risk, so it's best to stick to procedure, step by step. So with an all-hands call, you head straight for Compass 1. Try and reach surface from comms. That is true. We are following footsteps right now. I didn't notice it until he started talking and I had a chance to, like, stop talking because talking uses up all my brain power. But there are footsteps running through this area. Uh, there might be another survivor, maybe? Oh. Or maybe not. Hey, buddy. Sorry, lady. Comes the rope sometimes. I don't know. It'd be tough to, like, loot your friend's body, basically. Like, your friend or co-worker's body. Even if you don't like your co- Shit. You better get the hell off of me with your weird little beaky anus. Little bastard. Dick, get out of here. You best believe. Oh, we're coming straight at you, octopus. You better bounce up out of here. We're about to do this. Uh, get dealt with. That's right, I'll throw that hook on you, son. Oh, you messed up now. You messed up now, octopus. You messed up now. Get some. I'm gonna ground and pound this bitch. That's what you get. You cephalopodile bastard. Is anybody getting this? Just anybody read. Maybe we're on the sub self so by falling apart. Alright, we're here. We've arrived at Compass One. Comp Ass One. 
My name is Blattercat. This game is called Narcosis. If you want to see more of it, leave me lots of comments, leave me lots of likes, and let me know that it's something that you want to see more of and it's something that interests you. Otherwise, uh, I hope you enjoyed this little preview of what the game might have on offer and help you figure out if it's the kind of game that you want to play here at the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat, and I like to showcase indie games. Every single day I try to have something new for you so that you are always aware of what's going on in the indie genre and you're always able to get your fix of whatever the indie world is cooking up for you. If you like what I do, consider checking out the Patreon. It's a great way to support me and make sure that these videos stay here. Other than that, I will see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in, and bye bye everybody. Thank you.